Hey guys and welcome and welcome back to my channel. So it's been a minute since I've done a product showdown but if you saw my PR unboxing video you saw that I received a new powder that comes in a deep shade and you know if I find any type of powder like that it has to be compared to good old Laura Mercier translucent setting powder in medium deep. So if you want to see how these two powders compare then just stay tuned. So the powder I am talking about is the Lancome Silky Loose Powder and like I said I'll be comparing it to the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Now to see how these two kind of stack up against each other, the Lancome, it's gonna kill me in this video that they both start with an L, the Lancome powder retails for $37 for half an ounce, while the Laura powder retails for $38 for one full ounce. This powder comes, I'm just gonna say this powder and this powder, this powder comes in five different shades. This is the last shade, five while the Laura powder only comes in two shades, the translucent one and this medium deep one. Now I'm pretty sure we've all heard just about everything we possibly can about the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder since the beginning of time. I'm talking 500 BC, but just in case you have never heard of this powder before, let me give you a quick little summary here. This Laura Mercier bestseller is your go-to setting powder. The loose powder feels luxuriously dense in the jar, feels silky light and refined on your skin, applies evenly, blends effortlessly. Modern matte finish creates a modern matte finish with a touch of sheer coverage. The translucent shade works on virtually all skin tones, soft focus effect for a more flawless look like all Laura Mercier setting. Setting, yeah, all right, powders. All right, now onto the Lancome powder, which I have heard is not new. It's actually a very old powder, but you know what? It's new to me, so it's new. All right, um, small summary on this powder. Silky loose powder, surprisingly soft, featherweight, ultra smoothing. Set and perfect your makeup with a perfectly blended innovation powder that absorbs oil and smooths skin for a translucent matte finish and a satin touch. Lasts all day, provides even flawless complexion, never chalky, never ashy. All right, those are, those are some big claims, Lancome, but if you can back it up. All right, sounds... Sounds a little better than the uh, Laura powder. So the Lancome powder will be on this side of my face and the Laura powder will be on this side of my face. And before I actually put it on my face, I just forgot to show you what the actual color of the powders look like. So here is the Laura powder and here is the Lancome powder. The Lancome powder is darker than the Laura powder. Okay, so here are both powders on my face, Lancome Laura. It is now 11.34, so I'm going to leave and come back later so we can see how this held up and uh, see if we can choose one over the other. So I am back and it is now 7.04, so I've had this on for about seven and a half hours, I believe. Um, and this is what my face looks like, just in case you forget quickly, like I do. Lancome is on this side of my face and Laura Mercier is on this side of my face. Um, let's just run down the ups and downs of these two powders. Now they both claim that they are translucent and I feel Laura sticks more to that claim than Lancome because even though the, the Laura powder is a medium deep shade, it doesn't change the color of the makeup that you already had on your face after you apply the powder. Where the Lancome, if you remember, is couple shades darker than the Laura powder and I feel like it gives you another shade of color to your face which I don't you know necessarily mind with that because you know when it comes to uh, my skin tone sometimes because of other products that you know you just kind of have to kind of squeeze and make work you might want that little extra layer of coverage and shading to your face but if you're dead set like no I, I set out to find a translucent powder that's not going to change the makeup I already have on my face it's just going to set my face then you're gonna get that more with the Laura powder than you will the Lancome powder they both claim to smooth your face and I feel like they both do that um, I don't see anything really stopping me from giving both of them that point if I wanted to do that um, they both claim 
to have a matte finish or soft matte somewhere around your face should be matte oil absorbing all of that um now it's been about seven and a half hours so oil is starting to show up on my face regardless however i think you can notice that my oil is starting to show a lot more on my lancome side than on my laura side and i think we've seen quite a few uh foundation hunt videos where laura is the only thing that saved that foundation so i'm gonna have to give it to laura mercier here when it comes to oil absorbing and keeping your face matte my face started to look like this a lot quicker on the lancome side than it did the laura side but i would say my face was matte across the board for about four hours four maybe five hours before i started um seeing oil on my face with the lancome laura started kicking in maybe about let's see, it's seven five around 5 p.m so about an hour an hour to two hours ago is when my oil started showing on the laura side so i would say it definitely absorbs oil and you know stays matte longer than the lancome powder was there anything else that they claim to do um as far as you know how it how it's wearing on my face i do think my face um is creasing more here with the lancome powder and my smile lines and stuff like that so i'm gonna have to give this product showdown to laura mercier again now you may be wondering why it seems a little bit forced that i'm giving it to laura here but um this is like the third video i think i've done this year comparing a powder to the laura powder and i just want to be able to pick one over laura mercier like i just want something new i want something different however i do still want to like my makeup so you know i have to give credit where credit is due um but i just want to be able to be like you know i like this like here's an alternative to this if you for some reason are someone who are just like i don't see what all these people see about that laura powder i don't like it um i haven't found one that i can say i like more than it yet but don't get me wrong these are both very good powders it's just the longevity that is making me give it to laura than lancome but um they both are still on my face you know they both really did set my makeup um i didn't have any transfer from either powder so they're both good there um and they both reacted well to my dry skin which is starting to kick in because we are getting more and more into winter um yeah it's just it's just this oiliness that has your girl you know you got this Laura. So that is it for this video. I hope seeing these two products compared next to each other has helped in your decision of which one you were going to try out for yourself. Let me know what other products you would like to see go up against each other in a showdown type of video. Um, make sure to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!